hey guys back with another video so I was browsing through my youtube channel and I found that many people were interested in the low pass filter video that I made uh, quite a while ago so uh, this time I'm back with uh, an active filter the last one was a passive RC filter which did good but well it is not an actual filter that you can use with something uh, say for example to filter out the low frequencies for a subwoofer so for that purpose I made an active filter that's actually what to say awesome considering that it's built on the breadboard and still there's very less noise so for a check uh, I'll play a song and that will be without the filter and after that I'll play a song play the same song with the filter so that you can see the difference So I'll be playing the same song track, the same piece uh, with the filter on and after that I'll move to the brief explanation of uh, this filter. So this is the circuit that I used to realize the low pass filter. Uh, so some of the blocks you can recognize, for example this and this. So these two blocks I'll name them F F for filter because these are passive low pass filters both of them have slightly different cutoff frequencies but I prefer to keep the cutoff of this a little above uh, I mean greater uh, than cutoff of this so I'll go through the circuit real quickly first of all there's this RC filter stage that uh, blocks frequency of around 700 hertz I'm not sure of the figure but should be around that 700 or I don't know whatever that is you can calculate using the po uh, formula f equals 1 by 2 pi rc so uh, okay that filters out quite some high frequencies and then there's this decoupling capacitor just in case there's some DC that is coming through the uh, signal source and after that I superimpose it on uh, the DC level because my op operational amp amplifier is operating on single uh, power supply as in it does not have a negative ray it's just plus 5 volt and ground so for that reason I had to uh, sort of superimpose the signal on that 2.5 volt DC uh, the 10 kilo ohm variable resistance is used to set the gain and well I don't prefer using the 10k resistor uh, as such because when you increase the gain in that manner it also increases the noise that is associated with the amplifier it's better to use your volume control and keep this gain to minimum whatever it is possible uh, Followed by that is a 100 microfarad capacitor again to block the DC and after that is there is the second 
RC low pass filter stage so that way uh, you get uh, more roll off rate compared to the standard RC filter which gives you 3, 3 dB per decade of uh, roll off it should be around 6 dB because we have cascaded if we have effectively cascaded the um, RC filter stages well 6 dB would have been the case if uh, even this resistor was 3.3 .3 kilo ohm because then the cutoff frequency would have been exactly the same uh, but as I told you I prefer to let some high frequency be allowed to pass over here and then shunt it over here so uh, that's pretty much it the beauty of this design is that you can actually cascade the same circuit multiple times and get a better uh, characteristic for the low pass filter uh, also the LM324 chip has four operational amplifiers so that way you can uh, club four of these circuits and make a really good sounding amplifier I think I'll be fabricating this real soon uh, because I want to drive some subs and for that I'll be using custom filters so mostly you'll see another video of the uh, not the breadboarded version of course uh, mostly a PCB as in a copper clad um, permanent version of this filter uh, I'll let you know so hit the subscribe button if you want to be notified of that video and give a thumbs up if you like the video if you have some thoughts and some uh, suggestions as to improving the design just let me know in the comments uh, thanks for watching